Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Deck, and today we'll be doing a bust down center part. What is my favorite? Long, straight, bust down center part. So today's video comes courtesy of Asali, and they sent over this beautiful closure lace wig. She is straight. I believe she is 28 inches in length, so on me, I'm 5'3". It's about mid butt length but what i love about her is number one she's a closure so you know she's coming up tonight after or before i get in the shower she's coming back on in the morning for school with the kids and yeah it's gonna be an easy install easy to maintain don't have to add no water no spray no conditioner i can just literally put her on and you know she can go up in a clip for pilates or a bun i could put her in one how cute would this be in one just long low braid going all the way back a little scrunchy on the end so i'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the tutorial be sure to subscribe if you haven't already now let's get into it okay babies jumping right into it just dyed my hair jet black it looks so much healthier and fuller when i do this um it's been blow dried for a couple days and in a bun so i'm just gonna go ahead and do two braids and this is the wig here now this is a gorgeous five by five lace closure wig she's obviously a straight texture and it's 10a grade hair this is what she looks like on and as you guys seen i showed you the inside construction of the cap as well here is a close-up of the hairline she's absolutely gorgeous and she's 26 inches in length if i did not mention look at how silky she is sometimes we prefer like an afro or a kinky straight texture but when it comes to my bust down middle part straight i want it nice and silky i love how rich the length is the texture is the density is everything about this one is amazing i'm gonna set her as a center part because as i mentioned we're going bust down center part and i'm gonna use this electric hot comb from bdecbd.com paired with the wax stick and we're gonna go ahead and do what the dynamic duo so i just like to go in and really really press out the lace area this gives me the most flat and flawless finish i do want to mention that you can purchase this one in different lengths i believe it goes from about 14 inches to maybe like 34 inches actually it's 12 inch to 34 so i have a 26 but if you want it even longer be my guest she also comes in a 150 percent density 180 and also 250 and then you can also get the 10a hd lace or the 10a transparent of course you guys know your girl got the hd but you guys definitely have options on the site so be sure to check out the di direct link after you watch this video now we're going in to cut off the excess lace. I did go ahead and customize just a little bit by opening up the part. It's just a little bit of a hack. Most wigs these days will come pre-plucked and this one was no exception. But sometimes even with a pre-pluck, it is still more of a like uniform shape. So I like to go ahead and break that up and make it look a lot more imperfect like my own natural hairline does. And now that we're bonding her down, we did use the e-bid and I go in with a fairly, you know, generous or hefty amount and then i put the lace on top i love the fact that this one fits on my head pretty glueless so you don't have to add any product at all but of course we want that good old melt melt so i did go ahead and add this product and then i just added my melt belt on top this is going to do all the work for me so that it'll melt it'll dry and it'll just become seamless with my entire head my face it's going to look so good in the meantime and in between time, let's go ahead and soak it out. You guys seen from the very beginning, this hair has a beautiful, soft and silky and healthy texture to it. It has a beautiful sheen to it and we didn't add any product to the ends, but you still want to go in and kind of use that chase method to make sure it just looks like butter. It looks like money. It looks you know you want to look amazing you want to look your best and so especially when you do like your first initial install you want to look like you know you spent a million bucks and this is what i got after a few heat passes i was absolutely impressed so like i don't know i had so many clips of me doing the little hold the comb on the hair and like wave it like that because i was just so impressed i was like a little kid in a candy store i love 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 the texture on this one on this evening i did have pilates so i felt so good and i kept looking in the mirror 
hair because I don't know it was just so pretty and I haven't had hair this long in a minute I typically stop at like a 22 inch so I went extra this time around and I don't regret it at all and I love the fact that this one is nice and full it's not heavy but it's full enough that you know it's not sparse or skimpy by any means I did pick up a new brush set from Sonia Kashuk the other day while at Target because you know when you get to Target, you just find things you didn't know you even needed. But my brushes that I typically will use for my lace were very, very old and just, you know, a little ratchet. So I wanted to upgrade my situation. I used my Fenty Concealer along the parting. You know, I love it in the 420. And then I blend it out. And then I used the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation along the hairline. Now this one, I think it's like 360 Coconut. This one always melts my lace like makes it super seamless no matter what so I went ahead and added a little bit and I thought I was done but at the last minute I caved in and did my baby hair you guys know I love baby hair over anything everything on every single wig especially closures because it kind of gives it more of a frontal vibe because it just doesn't cut off at that 4x4 or that 5x5 so I went ahead and made it look extra extra bomb by um curling it with the pencil flat iron towards my face or like under I added a little bit of the um same even spray sometimes I prefer this over edge control because I still want the baby hair to be wispy and not like glued to my um you know like glued to my forehead so I just add a little bit at the base and then I'll drive it through with the back of the edge brush and sometimes you can hold the hair like form the baby hair that you want like in the shape and then use the blow dryer to like dry it or mold it when you use that adhesive and it definitely will do the trick where the hair will still be like wispy and move around but it'll have the perfect shape and that is what we consider wispy baby hair and so I set that um foundation that we put with a powder and that's I believe the ruby kisses and that pretty much was it super simple and easy no extra styles needed it is super bomb and you're gonna get all the compliments okay love bugs I'm done with the look so I wanted to or I challenged myself to get the install done before I did pick up with my son um it is 6 35 so yeah definitely come back to you guys much later but this is the look and i love this one for me my favorite is deep wave but what i prefer to wear the most for comfortability if that's a word is closure bust down middle part straight i don't have to wet anything out or like you guys know with like curly and deep wave textures it gets big naturally and it gets dried out so you gotta go in and wet it and detangle it i can just put it on like a hat and literally put a hat on top of it put a headband on top of it go behind my ears and i'm good to go monday through friday even if the ends are not fresh and silky like this the way they need to be this looks clean this is good for all seasons all, all how do you say all occasions Winter, summer, spring, fall, vacation. No matter where you're going or what are you doing, this is gonna work. Sometimes curly or deep wave just may not be the vibe, like winter time with some boots. Curly wet hair, no, you can do it like curly dry, but like curly wet may not be the vibe. Anyways, I'm happy with this one. I really do love her. As I mentioned, she did come from Asali. I pray that I am pronouncing the name correctly. Inside the package, they did give us some brown wig caps, which I need because the cap under here is old. Um, a male belt with their name on it, and then a baby hairbrush. Simple and sweet. Oh, there are also some lashes in here. Super nice. I actually might put these on because I kind of want to wear some lashes, but then I have Pilates in an hour, so I probably shouldn't put on any lashes. Let me show you one more time what she looks like from the back. You guys know when I do these tutorials, I probably didn't get it good right here, so don't judge me. She is definitely mid butt length. She literally goes to the middle of my butt. I love that for me because she's not like thick or protruding. Um, I think the density is fitting for it to be so long where it's not like skimp or sparse, but it's not like a costume wig where it's like 300% density all the way down to my butt. Like if I'm going to have butt length hair, I really don't want it to be like extremely thick, but I don't want it to be skimpy. So this is that perfect 
happy medium still good enough to where i can cut layers if i want but it's just not too overpowering or heavy be sure to check out Ossalie. I believe this thing is 28 inches. I'll have the exact specs in the description box as well as lists and links of everything we use to complete this look. I love my little wispy baby hairs and everything about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share with your friends. Like don't be stingy. Put them onto my channel, especially if you know like your girl, your homegirl be wearing a bust down center part and it don't be this flat. Put her on. Be like, just go watch this. It's very beginner friendly. She's going to tell you what to get, what to buy, so you can get it right. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day, evening, morning, noon, night, wherever you are. Thank you guys so much for watching again. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.